everyone this is february's block of the month and this is what it looks like it is called um scrappy modern walking star block okay and i'll put the link to this in the description down below okay and if you would subscribe and like and leave a comment i would really appreciate your support okay so I'm going to go over what you need for this block, okay? So you need one six and a half by six and a half of your main scrappy fabric, right? So it's a really good scrap buster block, right? And then you need two of the three and a half by six and a half rectangles, okay? And then you need one of the three and a half by three and a half, okay? And then you need four of the three and a half by three and a half. So you should have three different fabrics, okay? So this one's our main one. This one is going to be our, um, our background or our flying geese, right? Background. And then this one is going to be the sun okay so this is what the block looks like okay so you'll have a sun right kind of like a sun thing coming out if you put them all together you will have like what looks like a sun okay so this again this is what the block will look like when we have completed it it's very pretty all right so the first thing we're going to do is make our flying geese. So on the back of these four, we're going to draw a line from corner to corner, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to lay our two blocks down are three and a half by six and a half like this all right so essentially you're making a flying geese like this okay so you're going to essentially dog ear both sides of this block okay so we're going to lay these down just like this and line them up all right then what i'm going to do is I'm going to pin just so it doesn't move on me. So we're going to sew right on this line. All right. So like I said, we're going to sew right on this line right here. Okay. And I wouldn't usually use black thread, but I want you to be able to see. Okay. I'm going to show you a trick. You can get another half square triangle because you're going to cut this off, right? And turn this out to make your, but if you sew again like this, okay? You can get another half square triangle. And if you make a lot of these blocks, you can use them to make a pillow that matches or you know, a table runner or whatever you're trying to, you know. I just don't like to waste the fabric. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to remove our pins. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, oh, we're just going to cut and slice those apart, okay? doesn't have to be exactly one fourth of an inch because I didn't leave enough. Okay, so see, you got you an extra half square triangle now. So you can save these. All right. So we're going to move to our ironing board now. All right. 
So we're going to iron these open. So it should look like this. All right, so let's go back to the cutting board. All right, so this is what we have, these two. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these up on the opposite corner, okay? Just like so. So let's pin. Alright, and we'll do the same thing here. So here's our two blocks, right? So let's remove our pins. So we will slice in between these two sewn lines. You have these four half square triangles from each block. And we'll head to the ironing board to iron these. We'll come back to the cutting board. Let's lay our block out. Okay. So we have our six and a half inch by six and a half inch square. Okay. And then we have our six and a half by three and a half flying geese. Our corner block, three and a half by three and a half. Then our six and a half by three and a half flying geese. So what will happen is we will sew these two together on this seam, these two together on this seam, and then we will sew this set and this set together on this seam, okay? So let's head to the sewing machine and do that, okay? okay so when we get to here, okay, do you see how these lines cross right here? Okay. So this line and this line come to a point right here. We want to make sure that our fourth of an inch, when it comes down, it doesn't sew too far into this. We don't, we just want to barely miss this point. Okay. So we want to sew like right, just, just to the right of that where those intersect. Okay. And that will make sure that we don't um, lose our points, okay, when we're sewing, all right? So just take it slow. Make sure where we're sewing just barely makes it on the other side, okay? So we don't lose our points, okay? point looks perfect okay we're going to go to the ironing board now okay so we're going to iron both of these seams open Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to now sew this to here, and we need to make sure that our points line up right here. And then, so we're going to turn this over, right? Line up our points, and then, like I said, on this, do you see how we have where the stitching lines come into an X right here? So you want to sew just to the right of where those points come into contact, okay? It's like, just like right about here, 
okay? And that will make sure that you don't lose your points when you're sewing blocks together, okay? So we're going to sew with that one quarter of an inch, except for where this points are. We're going to sew just shy to the right, okay? Let's go back to the ironing board, iron this open, okay? And there we go. We have our block completed and we ha didn't cut off any of our points and we have a very good um, four corners right here on our four patch area, okay? So I hope that uh, you like this uh, February block of the month. All right. Thank you. Bye.